welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create like a really beautiful pink half cut crease, full glam kind of look. So first out I'm carving underneath the brow with concealer and I'm using a Morphe brush but I can't actually remember the name of the brush so I'm going to leave all brush names linked down below but I'm going to be showing you what products and stuff I use. This is a Nip and Fab concealer in the shade 05 and this is probably one of my favourite ever bases to use on the eyes and to carve out under the brow. I usually start doing the eyebrows first, like defining the brows, but I wanted to keep hers more fluffy for this look, so. And now I'm just applying the concealer all over the eyelid with a really, really fluffy brush and just kind of speeding up the process and creating like a really clean, even base. Take it all the way into the inner corner of the eye and all the way out to the other side of the eye and just make sure you're kind of patting the product in and really like working it into the eye. Next I'm using the P. Louise Secret Center palette and I'm going to my Velvet Kiss and I'm just going to use a really dense fluffy brush and I'm going to be packing this all over the lid first, starting from the outer corner. Make sure you're not like blending the product and you're just kind of patting it onto the eye and you really want the pigmentation to be there so make sure you're getting quite a lot of product on your brush as well. This palette is amazing for pigmentation if you've not tried it yet either. So I'm taking that all the way into the inner corner as well. Don't worry about making a mess because like this really really looks like a mess like <laughs> mid-process so don't worry about that now. Next I'm going in with In Lust. And I'm going to be kind of like buffing out the edges, like I'm not buffing it too far but just kind of going up to like the crease area and just making sure those like edges are blended out seamlessly. Then I'm going in with like a lighter pink and then buffing out the edges again. Always get like a clean fluffy brush when you're doing this and I am using Morphe brushes here. Again they'll be linked down below. It's literally all about blending, you just want the lines to be like really seamless, really like kind of like blurred out at the edges. So keep going in and like take your time. Next I'm going in with black and I'm just using the complete black from the James Charles Morphe palette. But I forgot to take a little clip of this, um, but literally you could just use like any black. And I'm just popping this in the outer corner and I was using the same brush there that I used to apply the pink in the first clip. And then I'm just going to be buffing out the edges with another like really fluffy brush. And then to do my half cut crease I'm using the same concealer that I used to start and like do my base. And then I'm taking that all over the lid with I think it's a MAC 252 brush. You're kind of creating like a half of like a semicircle and just going with like the crease of the eye. And just making sure you've got quite like a thick base and taking it all the way into the inner corner as well because you really want to brighten up that area. And only take it three quarters of the way along the eye as well. Now I'm going in with the black again, I'm just literally buffing that into like the outer corner just so the concealer's like blended like ever so slightly. And then I'm going in with the P. Louise pigment now and I'm just packing that on with the P. Louise brush that comes in the little um, dual brush sets that they do and I'm going to pack this onto the concealer. I don't even think you need an eye base or anything to like pack this on with, like just it's going to stick completely to con like the concealer. I'm just showing you the other pigment that I was using. Next I'm using the Maybelline eyeliner. So I'm using the Maybelline Jet Black liner and I'm just going in with the brush that comes with the little set like in the pot and I'm going to be going right onto the lash line and just kind of creating my liner. I'm not doing a wing or anything, I'm just doing smoked out liner. Just make sure you really take your time and you keep getting product on your brush because if your brush is dry then it's going to really drag so you want to make sure that you've got like quite a lot of product on your brush and that's just going to apply 
really nicely for you. And when you're doing the inner corner of the eye, get your client to kind of look down and look to the opposite direction so her eye is actually slightly open and then that way you can get right into the inner corner without like making any mess or like kind of like hurting her eyes or whatever. You want to make sure your client's always comfortable as well if you're doing this on someone else. And next I'm going in just with the exact same eyeliner and just popping that in the waterline underneath. And you'll notice I have cleaned up under the eyes because there was a lot of fallout and stuff but I just went under with micellar water by Garnier and just kind of like cleaned that up. Once that's in the eyes I'm going in with the shade Love Shy from the P. Louise palette. I'm just buffing this right on top of the gel liner that was underneath and that's going to set the gel liner and it's going to like smoke it out. And I love this colour, I think it's absolutely stunning and it really just like tied in the eyeshadow look. Next I'm going in with the Dermalogica Skin Smoothing Cream and I'm just going to pop that all over her face. I love moisturising before any makeup put on, like I feel like you should always, always moisturise. Just gives you like a clean base to work on. Then I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Prep Primer and I love this primer. It's quite like silicone-y feeling but it's lovely and I feel like this is like a really, really, really <laughs> underrated primer. And I'm using the Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation in shade 5.5. This is like a kind of perfect match for Chloe. She has got quite like sallow skin but her skin on her face is like a bit fairer but she did have like some excess tan left on so this is like a kind of perfect match for her. And I'm just using, I can't remember the number of the brush, but it's a peaches and cream brush and it's kind of like a fluffy brush. That's probably one of my favourite brushes for applying foundation. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of just like swiping and then patting and doing all these weird motions you'll kind of just notice as I go along. But you'll kind of work out yourself like the best way for you to apply foundation. You'll get used to like what you like and the way you like it and stuff. Then this foundations is one of my favourites. I don't apply any foundation like under the eye area either, I kind of just leave that because I'm going to be putting concealer under there and I don't want to like build up too much product because then it's going to start to look cakey so I just leave it under the eyes. And again the concealer that we used um, on the eyes as a base, I'm going to be using this under the eyes to kind of brighten the area. It's as a few shades lighter than the foundation anyway. But if you've ever used this concealer, you will notice it does oxidise, so if it's too light then don't worry. So I'm just applying this everywhere, and if I'm highlighting as well because it is a lighter shade, then I'm going to be applying it basically all over the T-zone and then under the eye area, but you don't really have to apply this concealer where you don't need it. It is quite full coverage, so you really only want to apply it in certain areas. I'm actually using an eyeshadow brush to blend this out, but I feel like that I get the best finish whenever I use an eyeshadow brush to blend out my concealer. I feel like it's just really fluffy and it just works so well. And whenever you're doing under someone's eyes, you always get them to look up right to the ceiling, just so it's more comfortable for them as well.
So next I'm gonna set it and I'm just using an Illamasqua powder foundation to set and I feel like this is like a really really good product to set as it gives like more coverage as well if you're wanting that kind of extra full glam finish. And it literally keeps your makeup on all day as well. And I'm using a kind of yellow tone under the eyes and in the T-zone as I really think that's like a complementary colour towards the foundation. So once the T-zone is set, I'm going to be going in to start contouring and I'm using the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. And I do actually prefer using the brush that just comes with the um, bronzer if you've like, used it before. The brush that comes with a wee set, like that's my favourite brush to use it with. I've not found a better one yet. So I'm just going in and contouring the cheekbones and I'm going in like kind of like from the top of the ear and just coming down like halfway. Then going under the jawline and then round the tips of the forehead. So I'm basically going in like a three shape. And you don't actually really have to like blend out your contour as well, so I'll leave it kind of messy the now and quite harsh, but then I'm going to go in with bronzer after to kind of blend that out properly. But if you want kind of like a full glam contour, then I would kind of just keep going in and going in, and then you can blend it out properly afterwards. And I'm going in with the peaches and cream bronzer now and I'm just going to buff that out with like a little fluffy brush. And I'm using a Makeup Forever blush now and it's just kind of like a peachy tone blush. Um, and I'm just going in and popping that on the apples of the cheeks. I'm using the exact same brush as well because I feel like if you use the same brush for your blusher and your contour then it all just kind of like blends together. And now the best bit, the highlighting. So I'm using the Mitchell palette. If you haven't seen him on Instagram, he's came out with like, this highlighting palette and the shades are absolutely beautiful, like so stunning and blind in. If you love a good highlight then you need to get this palette and it's so like affordable as well. So now I'm using the NYX brow mascara and I'm just kind of creating like a little fluffy brow by brushing the hairs up. And this has got like a bit of like a kind of brunette shade through it as well but Chloe's got quite dark brows anyway so you don't really need like a lot of colour. And next I'm going in with Spiked Brow Pencil by MAC. Now I'm just going to be kind of putting this in like some sparser areas of the brows which need filled in so any gaps, any areas which like just look like they need some more definition I'm just popping that through but I don't want like a really defined harsh brow but I still want to give like a little something something. So now I'm using some mascara and I'm just literally using like a little sample mascara from MAC and then popping it on a disposable mascara wand and then popping it on mostly her bottom lashes because she does have eyelash extensions on so I didn't want to put too much on there but you will get some excess glitter and stuff that you need to cover. And now I'm using Spice Lip Liner by MAC and I'm just kind of going underneath her natural lip line. Like I'm not overlining them too much but I am just following the kind of white outer lip line that you will see like on her lips and just kind of defining the outer part.
And now I'm going in with one of the, my favourite lipsticks ever. This is a Revolution Pro lipstick and it's in the shade Heroin. And it is like so creamy, so beautiful. The like, nicest nude shade ever and they're actually so cheap. Like, amazing. And I'm just popping this all over the lips and I feel like this like really suits that lip liner as well because it's quite like a pale lipstick so it's nice to match it with like a bit of a darker lip liner. And now I'm going in with this lip gloss and I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to see more videos from me then please subscribe and if you have any ideas of any makeup you want me to recreate or any looks you want to see from me then please just comment. Follow me on any of my social medias if you're interested in seeing any more of my makeup pictures and stuff. Thank you!